So we previously looked at our filters pane where we can or have the ability to add filters to a page, all pages or a specific visual when selected. But we also have the ability to do some more, should we say visually appealing and also it gives us advanced functionality by adding the filters directly to the report in something known as a slicer. So in order to add a slicer, again, you go back to your visualization pane and you can see in the third row from the bottom, we have this option for a slicer. So I'm simply gonna select that. I'll drag it up towards the top of the page, but of course you can put it anywhere required. And let's just drag into this uh, assigned to. Oh no, actually, let's go category. No real difference here, but I'll just obviously change my mind there. And you can see what it's done is it's listed down all of our available categories in our data. And similarly to the filters pane, if we make a selection here, it's gonna update our reports, uh, or our visuals, sorry, so that we can see only that data. So we can see for database, fairly even, but obviously our numbers are reduced to three, two, two, whereas obviously before the selection, obviously it was a lot higher. If you want to deselect, we can either deselect, or if I've selected again, you can see you've got this rubber icon here to clear selections. Now this list way of working might work for you. You could expand it to make it a bit bigger, but if you want a true drop down sort of usability, all we need to do having got the slicer selected is go back to visualizations, go to our formatting option, and you can see the first one we have is slicer settings. And this is where we have some options available to us. So by default, we've got the vertical list, we can instead have a tile. So as you can see, you've literally got that. So a tiled way of working. So you might want to drag this down and you can make your selections like so. Um, or if you don't like the vertical look, you can simply drag and make it wider than it is tall. And you can see we've now got a sort of menu selection navigation that we could put at the top there. So again, that also may be useful for you depending on what layout or desired layout you have for your report. And lastly, we can go into here and go into drop down. And this time, if we now condense this down a bit, because it's quite large now, and move that to the top corner, we now have a drop down selector. So we can go select our drop down, we can see all of our available options, make a selection and deselect, and you can now see everything has been filtered to analysis. Of course, more formatting options are available. So selecting that one last time, going into format, you can see we have other options. So if we go into selection, this is where we're able to say if we want to enforce only a single selection or a multiple or even show a select all. So having ticked that, you can see we now have the additional option of select all available to us. And the last one's probably to cover off, as always with everything, if we go into general, is we have the ability to, oh no, sorry, go into visual, we have the ability to change values. So change the sizing of font and text while I'm doing the drop down there. And of course, also do this to the slicer header as well. So similar topic as what we did before, like I say, on filters, but just showing you another, maybe more visual way you can work with filters on your report. So have a go if you haven't already, at adding a slicer to your report or multiple slicers to your report uh, to help you navigate through the data. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.